Hello, I'm Bookface. Now, it has been quite a while since we've talked about... <laughs> so the last video on aliens is the only one that actually has proper references, because it took me way too long to realize that, hey, if I'm doing an even slightly educational stuff, content things. Man, this is the reason I don't teach grammar. If I'm gonna do that, I should probably cite my sources. Like, it took me like two years to come to that conclusion. I'm a professional. <laughs> the dog approacheth. The dog hath approached. If my audio sounds bad from this point forward, no, it's my dog's fault, because I usually close myself in my closet where there's a fair bit of soundproofing, but my dog is needy. So I feel like I want to talk about the progression of alien videos, since I have done quite a bit of research recently. Dog, chill out. No, don't, don't bring that crap in here. Get that, get that ball out of here. Get that ball out of here. My dog is a menace when it comes to his ball. Come on. I'm trying to talk about aliens. Chill out, dog. You can come here, just don't bring the ball. Can you hear that? A little dog ASMR for this video. Boy, this is getting off to a slow start. So my original Alien videos, verse two or three, were based on well-documented sightings and <laughs> classic categorizations of, alien. of aliens. Next came the <sighs> Next are the random stuff that I find on the internet. Mostly wikis. He's just coming back. Who is it? Can I help you? I have a whole dog be real just from this video. Don't look at me like that. Don't, don't, don't bring that in here. Get out of here. Your favorite game with the ball is Be a Menace. It's not... I'm working! Oh my god. Under normal circumstances, I would have just stopped the recording at this point, but you know, this is a little too entertaining. And if this doesn't make it to the video, my mom's definitely gonna see it, because... or hear it. Give it a second. I'm gonna have like an hour long recording for a 15 minute video. Maybe. <laughs> Give me that. So yeah, the second category of alien videos is just a bunch of random stuff I found online with no sources or stuff to back it up, at least that I could find. I've been going back and looking through them and seeing which ones I can actually, you know, find some credibility for, which is more than I thought, thankfully. So I didn't just completely ramble on about gibberish aliens the entire time. And then we have the third class of video start. I swear to God, dog. Okay, that's it. Out. Out. Can't behave. Stinky. Stinky, go. Now that that is hopefully dealt with for the time being. Where was I? So the third class of these alien videos starts with the previous one, number nine, where I actually did some research, found some specific ones I thought were interesting, and you know, did my video on them. The interesting thing about the last one is I was kind of working entirely off of one source because I found one particularly good book on UFOs and aliens, and I just used that as my reference for the whole thing. But this time I scoured the internet, trying to find as many alien things as I could find. And uh, fun fact, researching aliens can be difficult on both the mind and the soul. 
because there's only so much nonsense I can read before I go straight into regretting my life choices. Also, a more fun part of this, through the precedent that I set in the last video, most aliens don't have very interesting names. Usually they're just basic descriptors like reptilians, the location, like the Flatwoods monster, or the witness name like the Pulaski aliens. So for the sake of clarity, I've decided to add my own names to better identify these creatures and make content. So with that out of the way, let's jump right in. First up are the Nordics, also called the Blondes, the Venusians, and the Plagerans, or as I call them, white alien people. It'll make sense soon. So this form of alien is more common than a lot of others. In fact, it is considered one of the most common kind of aliens. I just haven't talked about them because they're boring. Because these aliens resemble pale, thin humans, not humanoids, just actual humans. And they're described as beautiful figures with blue eyes and long blonde hair. Maybe it's alien. Must someone be mowing their grass right now? I mean, oh weird, it's it's a it's a UFO, do you hear it? The it's coming for me, ah. They can supposedly live over 1,000 years and communicate telepathically. Some claim that they've imparted knowledge of proper diet and prolonged life. Wow, that's, these things are just alien life coaches. Some have suggested the description and nature of the Nordics could have a little bit of, um, racial bias. You know, considering how they're described as benevolent and kind of perfect, and then physically they're described as the Aryan race, which, yeah, I ain't getting into all that. I am not about to get into space Nazis. I don't think I ever will. The Nordics were first described in 1952, Arizona, by George Ad Adams Ad Adamski. Yeah, we're using full names now. Well, trying to at least. I didn't do that previously in any video because it felt kind of weird, but if it's okay for my resources to use the real name, then sure, I'll do it too. I'll jump on that bandwagon. I'll jump on that band saucer. He sighted a silver UFO shaped a lot like a cigar, which several other people also attested to seeing. Pretty cool thing. And here's where things get weird. I say here's where things get weird after I've given one detail but it's still pretty accurate. So he encountered an alien who introduced himself as Orthon of Venus. Communicating telepathically, I might add. Wore a loose turtleneck-like garment that was tied around the wrists and ankles and also a belt. I'm sorry, I'm trying to envision this for a second. Is this alien wearing a onesie? Is this alien wearing a onesie with a belt? I just want to be clear on that. No, a turtleneck onesie with a belt. I, dang, these guys got high fashion in the fact that whoever designed it must have been high. He stated that his mission was peaceful and benevolent, and also stated he shared Adamski's beliefs of theosophy. He refused to be for, 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 for <laughs> He refused to be photographed and gave warnings about the dangers of atom bombs and nuclear war. But the sighting does not end there, because Adamski said he encountered even more of these Nordics, and was even taken to the dark side of the moon and to Venus. You what? He also said that all planets and that part of the moon have a breathable atmosphere. You want to run that by me again? Which, um, as, as not correct, that is, that is decidedly incorrect. <laughs> One of my sources gives a scientific argument to poke holes in this story that, you know, aside from a lot of the obvious, that if there was some creature that evolved to withstand the atmosphere of Venus, this hypothetical species would have such an incredibly different biology to humans that it would likely be completely incapable of surviving Earth's atmosphere. But apparently they're the same atmosphere, so I don't know what the confusion is. <laughs> Remember when I said this research hurts my soul? Yeah. There are also accounts from Edward Billy Meyer in the 1970s saying that they had beam ships which none of my sources chose to elaborate on, so it could be like a steel beam, it could be like a laser beam. Maybe they had a typo and it looks like a giant beam. And he'd actually photographed these beam ships. Meyer also claimed that the Nordics were the origin of angels from the Bible, which is actually a weirdly common thing in alien stuff. And look, I'm open to a lot of things, but Jesus secretly being an alien is not one of those things. Also, they line up a lot better with the elves of Norse myth anyways, especially considering they're named after the area those myths are from. I'm just surprised I haven't seen that pointed out more. According to Meyer, these aliens come from a planet smaller than Earth called Era, somewhere in the Pleiades, and because of this they're called the Plagerans. 
Meyer claimed to have encountered hundreds of these aliens, and he also says he traveled with them and visited other galaxies and universes, and also went back in time to take a photo of dinosaurs. Now, Occam's razor would suggest a rather effective way of testing the claim. Let's see the Jurassic selfie, Meyer. There's also a man named Howard Menger who claimed to have married a Nordic. Imagine telling your friends that you married an alien, but then you bring them around and it's just this blonde lady. And you're like, no guys, but she's from Venus. It's crazy. She went there to get more pain. Next, we have the Larson abduction alien, or as I call it, snare glow. This alien was described in an incident in August 1975 in North Dakota. It was sighted by a woman named Sandy Larson when she was abducted along with her daughter and possibly another person. It, the head count is kind of inconsistent between my sources. I would have looked into that more, but that is not the weirdest part of the story, so I'm just going to roll with it. She was taken aboard a ship and saw Earth through the end of a long, luminous tunnel. The alien she encountered was described as being six feet tall, resembling a mummy, the mummy, with a miner's light on its head and metal arms. She reports that the alien opened her skull and performed surgery by removing her brain, and then, of course, putting it back in. Felt the need to write that because I have a feeling comments could be rather harsh if I didn't. After the surgery, she was stitched back together in a way that left no scars. And dang, I want to see these aliens. Scar tissue sucks. She also recalled them using a small tool to scrape the inside of her nose, which caused some serious pain. Now, it's notable that prior to the encounter, she had had a sinus operation performed that was incredibly painful, according to her. And since, you know, did I mention it? And, of course, this whole thing was recounted under hypnosis, so it's possible that the memory of that operation could have leaked into this story. Another reason why it's hard to read some alien stuff. I believe a lot of weird things. I even believe in aliens to a degree. But as soon as hypnosis comes into the mix, I immediately don't trust anything I'm reading. Because, <laughs> like, with the kind of dreams I have, you really think I'm going to trust the subconscious to put together some reasonable story? <laughs> no! <sighs> Additionally, against, you know, her account, she had no visible signs of surgery which I guess that was sort of the thing with no scarring, but also how. <laughs> Additionally, after this hypnosis, she remembered having multiple visits in her childhood. She also recalled being levitated and moving through walls at some point. Ooh, a magic trick. I love it. Lastly, we have the Medarios alien hominid, or as I call it, alien largefoot. This was an alien sighted near Portland, Oregon in May 1971. It was described as an ape-like creature standing 10 feet tall, gray in color, with low hanging arms. Now, I get a little bored reading all the Bigfoot stuff, because there's a lot of Bigfoot stuff. But alien Bigfoot, you say, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> it was sighted initially by a man named Joe Medarios, and then separately sighted by three random businessmen. Despite Medario intentionally telling no one due to fear of ridicule. Okay, here's your mistake, Joe. What you're supposed to do at that point is say, Oh yeah, I planned all of this, you know, just to make sure everything was, was legit, all according to plan. It was seen many times in and around a trailer park by multiple people. And in these incidents, it often just stood in place for extended periods of time. Blink, motherfucker! Eventually, though, it did disappear from the area. Maybe they put up some no loiterer sign. It was like, oh, dang it. Well, rules are rules. I'll take my probes elsewhere. And there we have three weird aliens. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say at this point, except that I'm tired. If you want some more information on aliens, or just the same information in a better format, you should check out my website where I put all my research, my references, my drawings, old and new, so you can really see the crappy low-res drawings I used to do and the slightly less crappy, slightly higher-res drawings that I do now. Also, I have a Patreon if you, for some reason, think I deserve to be paid for this. And of course, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!